Hi, I'm Yvonne and welcome to the RV Cooking Show, a place where I can share with you my passion for RVing and my love for recreating regional food specialties from all across the country right here in my RV kitchen. Today I'm going to take you to a hidden RV gem, the Greek-inspired town of Tarpon Springs, Florida. In the late 1800s, sponge beds were discovered off the coast of Tarpon Springs, and some businessmen decided it would be a good idea to bring over some Greek sponge divers. They did so, and the sponge industry was a huge success. Unfortunately, in the late 1940s, some red tide algae came along and destroyed most of the sponge beds. Though you can still get sponges that are harvested right there in Tarpon Springs, most of the folks moved to the fishing and shrimping industries. While you're there, you're going to want to go to the Tarpon Springs sponge docks. You can walk up and down the promenade, enjoy the beautiful, colorful boats that are docked there. There are several terrific Greek restaurants to choose from, and you can have some authentic gyros, some spanakopita, or enjoy that delicious pastry, baklava. There's a lot of shopping right there in the sponge docks. You can choose a natural sponge of many sizes and shapes, whatever works best for you. And make sure you pick up some of this Greek olive oil soap. While you're at the sponge docks, you are going to want to visit the sponge factory where they've got a short film on the sponging industry and don't miss their Spongorama Museum. They're both free and they are well worth a visit. After you've explored everything there is to see and do on the sponge docks, you might want to visit the historic district. They've got a gorgeous Greek Orthodox church and by the way, the Pinellas Trail runs right through that historic district. If you don't know what the Pinellas Trail is, it's an almost 40 mile long rails to trails multi-use trail. Biking, walking, rollerblading. It starts in Tarpon Springs and ends in the south at St. Petersburg. There's lots of shops and a lot of antiquing in the historic district, as well as my favorite little food market, the Acropolis Meat Market. They have a terrific selection of meats at a great price, as well as neat pantry items, which is my favorite to shop for at the Acropolis. I got this authentic extra virgin olive oil direct from Crete. Wasn't too expensive, about $11 or so. And I also picked up some of this dried oregano. It's delicious, and we're going to be using both of these in our recipes today. If something a little more beachy is your style, there's a couple terrific county parks in Tarpon Springs. My favorite is the Fred Howard County Park. You'll drive along the bayou through a couple of neat neighborhoods, across an interesting causeway, and onto an island. If it's sunny and warm, bring your beach chairs or your beach blanket and enjoy the sun and surf. But don't miss it if it's windy as well. If you park your vehicle, you can watch all sorts of kite sailors and windsurfers. It's really fun. They do a lot of cool tricks. After you've explored everything that Tarpon Springs has to offer and got a couple of neat souvenirs, I'm sure you are going to want to bring some of the authentic Greek flavor home to your RV kitchen. So today we're going to make a classic Greek salad with a little modern twist. It's going to be a chopped Greek salad. I'll show you how to make a Greek vinaigrette and we'll toast a couple pitas on the grill just to round out this delicious meal. Vinaigrette is absolutely simple to make and it tastes delicious. I think after you learn how to make this Greek vinaigrette, you will discover that not only is it a lot less expensive, but it is much better for you and tastes better than the bottled stuff that you get at the store. So here's what we're going to do. I've got a little jelly jar. This is what I'm going to mix it up in. I've got one clove of garlic. This is a large clove of garlic and I've minced it pretty fine. I'm going to pick it up right into my jar. To that I'm going to add one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, one tablespoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And I like it a little more lemony so I'm going to overflow my tablespoon just a little bit like so. We're also going to add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Not only does the Dijon taste great, but the mustard helps emulsify the dressing, thicken it, and keep the oil and vinegar together right into our mix. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt right in it. Some fresh ground black pepper 
and of course a nice hearty pinch of our dried Greek oregano that we picked up at the Acropolis meat market. The lid goes on, we're going to give it a good shake. I've got a third cup of extra virgin olive oil. Again, this is what I picked up at the Acropolis, but any extra virgin olive oil that you can get at the grocery store works just fine too. Right into our jar. Close it up. Again, give it a nice shake. Chopped salads are all the rage today. That's why I'm excited to bring you the chopped version of a Greek salad. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna chop a head of romaine lettuce. I like to use the romaine hearts. So that's what I've got here, one large romaine heart. I've washed it, let's get chopping. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to cut these into all manageable size pieces. Using a rocking motion, our goal is to chop this lettuce up into nice little bite-sized pieces. So into the bowl, our lettuce goes. Now for the rest of our salad ingredients. Because tomatoes are a little soft and a little bit tender, they're pretty much the only thing in the Greek salad that I don't use my handy dandy chopper for. I've cut these up into small bite-sized pieces. This is about one small tomato. Lastly come all of our Greek salad ingredients. These are the classic ingredients. I've got cucumbers and I've cut them up into nice chunks, just makes them easier to cut. I've got a couple nice thick slices of tasty red onion. I've got some Greek pepperoncinis. I've cut them up into slices. And of course, I've got some pitted Kalamata olives. Pitted means, of course, that they don't have pits. Using a really large cutting board, like you noticed we did with our romaine lettuce, we're gonna put everything on the cutting board. And again, with our handy dandy chopper, we're just gonna rock back and forth. And we're gonna cut these up into small bite-sized pieces into our salad bowl go all of our vegetables. Before we toss our salad and add the dressing, we want to get our pitas cooked. So I have my grill preheating on high outside. We'll prepare our pitas. Then what we'll do is we'll cook them for about a minute on each side until they get nice and brown and crisp. And then we'll toss the salad, add the dressing, and we'll be ready to eat. This is one of my very favorite ways to enjoy flatbread on the grill. But if it's not grilling season where you are or your grill isn't handy, you can do the same thing, make these exactly the same way, except cook them in your nonstick skillet on your stovetop. So what I've got here are a couple of pitas. These are pocketless pitas, or you can also get gyro spread. I got these at the Acropolis Meat Market. They're also found at your grocery store. So a nice, generous coating of extra virgin olive oil. That'll help crisp them up and get them nice and brown. We're gonna put just a little teeny pinch of salt on this side, like so. Some fresh ground pepper, and of course, a little bit of our dried Greek oregano. Absolutely wonderful. We're gonna flip them over, and we're gonna do the same darn thing on the other side. Okay, we're gonna go put these on the grill. Well, here they are, and these look absolutely perfect. It's time to toss our salad, and we're going to dress it. Shake our dressing just a little bit, and remember, when you're dressing your salad, you can always apply more salad dressing, but you can't take it off. So go just a little bit at a time. What Greek salad would be complete without a nice, healthy dose of feta cheese? By the way, if you're staying in Tarpon Springs, there's a couple great RV parks there, and there are a few RV parks a little further south, right nearby in the Palm Harbor area. As you drive up and down Alt-19, you'll see lots of little Greek produce markets. While their produce is great, what I love is go inside, talk to the fellow behind the counter, and he can scoop out some of those Kalamata olives, some Greek pepperoncini, or even some of this really delicious feta cheese. So we're going to take a chunk of feta cheese. We're going to just crumble it. It's a little bit salty, a little bit tart. Really, really good. Well, this looks delicious. 
You can find this recipe for the chopped Greek salad, as well as our Greek vinaigrette and our toasted pitas on the grill. We'll also talk a little bit more about Tarpon Springs and the surrounding area on our website, www.rvcookingshow.com. Thanks so much for coming over and for exploring Tarpon Springs with us. We love to see you here, and we'll do it again next time from a completely different place. That's the fun of the RV Cooking Show. We'll see you next time. Opa! Thank <laughs> you.